Hey y'all, welcome. Uh, if you've never been here before, uh, I'm Jamie and this is the Quilting Compound. Come on in, uh, I offer video uh, quilting tutorials. I do um, fabric hauls and I do uh, some subscription box openings and a few other little things. And in my last video, I did a scrap block project, which is up over there, hanging on the wall. And uh, the video quality of that was not very good. The lighting was terrible. I did redo it, or tried to redo it uh, as much as we could and got it back up. But when that happened, I lost some of the comments from people that I needed to reply to. So if you've made it back over to my channel, uh, I wanted to uh, answer some of those questions right off the bat. And one of the questions was, is where did I get my chair? I ordered my chair through So Yeah Quilting, um, which it's from Arrow, A-R-R-O-W. It's this chair right here. I don't know how much of you can see. Let's see if we can get any better view here. And the it actually opens up where you can put stuff in here. I don't have anything hidden in here yet. Um, I don't think I, I don't need to hide anything in there just yet. Uh, so that is where I got my chair through So Yeah Quilting, and it's from Arrow. I think you can either you can probably order through Arrow. I think you can probably even get them on Amazon. But uh, they are comfortable. I really do like it. Now, it does tilt you a little bit forward, so it'll take a little bit to get, you know, used to that. But other than that, it's, it's great. So, and I had another question, and it was about this Bargello-looking quilt over here. You can only see a little bit of it, and I don't really want to move the camera and, and you know, make everybody sick. Someone asked me where I got this, and I, I did it a very long time ago. And I, I'm thinking maybe I got it out of this book, but I've been looking through here, and it's the closest thing I can think of where I got it for right now. Um, so, but you know, there are many uh, Bargello patterns out there, so. Um, but I think that's where I got it. If I find another book, I know it wasn't out of a pattern. Um, I know it was, it was on a book, in a book. So I tried to answer some of those questions from the last video. So um, I hope some of y'all got to make uh, the scrappy block. I've got all that done next on it. I've I still have half of the block still to sew together. This, I'm pretty sure, will be my border. And if I decide to have another border after that, I don't know. I might just do a scrappy binding. And I may look at some of my other bindings and see if I have some of that fabric in there and just use what's left over of those bindings. So, so, uh, But the reason why I'm, I came here today is to tell you... Like I said, I was going to in my the last video was about the quilters day out that I went to. It was in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. It had uh, 14 vendors. It did have a trunk show. I did not get to see the trunk show. Um, I went pretty early because I had to come back here and work on my scrap quilt and the video for it. So I was uh, pressed for time, but I wanted to show you a few things that I got. I think I only bought from three different vendors. And uh, this vendor, I think, unfortunately, where I got these two um, um, layer cakes. These are older layer cakes, uh, but they were $20 a piece. So, and I think the fabric is really pretty. Let's see if I can show you some of it. So, it is, it's really pretty. It's Daybreak by Three Sisters from Moda. So, $20. Yeah, I, I do like, I do like that. I will tell you, I went into one um, vendor's area 
and they had a, I think it's Liberty of London. And I know that fabric is more expensive, but it was $74.99 for a layer cake. So that's a little bit, that's a little bit bull. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and so here is the other layer cake. And it's blues and tans and whites. So I like that because I've had a request for from a friend to do a quilt from her mother with dusty blues, uh, neutrals and grays and all that. So this may make it into that quilt. And this is Serena by Wyndham Fabrics by another point of view. So $20. I think that's a pretty good deal with that. So that was one uh, store and I'm thinking it was, uh, I didn't get a card with them and I don't know if it was because they did like stained glass and other things too. So unfortunately, I don't know which one it may be, j &L Creations. I'm not really sure which vendor it was. This, I just got one little thing from this um, vendor, and she's out of Brandenburg, Kentucky, and apparently this is P, uh, PG Studio Arts Center in Brandenburg on, um, I think, Main Street. They do, apparently, uh, a lot of, they do uh, like glass works, they do ceramics, they do quilting. So they do a, a lot of different things. I have not been to the storefront. I've only seen her at um, the vendor shows like this. So I got this fat quarter bundle. I think there is, how many's in here? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For and it was $17.99. And I should have took this. I don't want to break it apart. I forgot who is the who is the designer, but this is the blues and the yellows and the oranges. I thought they were really pretty. So I picked that up. And then the best part of this vendor <laughs> is that is her bag. Look at this. Look at that bag. Isn't that neat? I really like that. So all I got from her, I got two wide backs. And this was um, the quilt maker shop. I think she said she was in Boone County, Kentucky. Um, three yards of 108. So it's 108 by 108. It was $20. It's a gray. Gray and white, which will be good for if I do the the quilt. Well, I am going to do the quilt uh, for the friend, for her mom. Grays and whites and neutrals and dusty blues, she said. So, this could easily be a backing, $28. If, I tell you, if I could use that layer cake and add it's a few grays in with it and use this for the backing, that's really gonna be an affordable quilt, other than my time. And then, so that is my 108 backing. And this is, I got this 108 backing from the same store, the Quilt Maker Shop. They specialize in long arms, wide quilt backs, and, uh, I think she is a storefront, but it's she's only available um, by appointment. So, www.thequiltmakershop.com. So, this is the other one. This one, I think, is really cool. I like it. So, this is another 108. It was a little, I think it was $32. So, isn't that neat? So I really did like, I really do like this. So that is all I got because I have a lot of fabric, but I don't have a lot of wide backs. Usually I piece my back, but 
you know, I want something a little quicker. And I've got to save this bag because it's really neat. Um, so that is what I got at the Quilters Day Out Shop Hop. Like I said, and they had uh, door prizes and all that, but you had to be present to win, and I couldn't be present to win. Um, so, and it was a, um, the viewer's choice, it was a quilt challenge for children's quilt. So, uh, that is my little haul from there, and then I wanted to update you on, oh, and I also want to tell you, I guess if you're around, there's going to be a quilt show in uh, Burlington, Kentucky, this Saturday from 9 to 3 at the First Church of Christ, 6080 Camp Ernest Road, Burlington, Kentucky. String Quilt is brought to you by the String Town Quilters Guild. So if anybody's around that area, it looks like Michelle Kempian, Kempian, I can't pronounce that. Uh, and there it looks like there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, about ten vendors or more. So if you're around that area and you want something to do this Saturday, there you go. Okay, so that's my shop haul, and um, I want to show you the wedding quilt. If you've been with me for a while or seen my other videos, I talked about the wedding quilt that will be three months late, almost to the day. So it'll be their three-month anniversary present, too. So I'm going to show, I'm going to stand up and show it to you. Show you what I can show you anyway. See what you can see. But this is their wedding quilt. It They do have gray, black, and blues in their living room. So I went ahead and did those colors. If they want to, you know, put it on the couch. I used my AccuQuilt for the circles. So that's how that was done. Let's see the other half. I bound it, I uh, sewed it to the back and flipped it to the front and did it that way. Well, let's get this right here. Here's the bottom half is what you can see. And this, I did the backing, it's all one. I did have to piece it in the middle, but um, this is the back have to make sure is that tilted the right way yes so this is the back and if you can believe it or not I get that straight so that that's the back Let's see if you can find where I sewed it it is basically right down the middle so that all worked out great with this so the wedding quilt is done just got to get it to them, which will be this, which will be tomorrow. So I, I wanted to go ahead and uh, show y'all that finished product that, uh, you know, checking it off the list. One more thing done. Yay. So um, the next will be that uh, gift for the friend of mine for her mom for Mother's Day. So I'm going to start on that real quick. Uh, when is Mother's Day? Is that next month? So I guess I probably really need to hurry up and get get myself together here. So uh, if you would like, share, and subscribe and come back, I'm going to show you how what I'm going to do with that quilt. I've got a um, oh jelly roll quilt coming up. And I've got a few other things in mind. And I'm also going to show you when I finish my scrap quilt. Um, uh, uh, one block wonder right there, if you ask me. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.